Here we're going to be looking at a LIFO reserve account and understand how this LIFO reserve account works here and how we can relate between our FIFO inventory here and a LIFO inventory. And just for example here, we're going to be for internal reporting purposes, we'd be using a FIFO inventory method. And then for external reporting purposes, we'd be using a LIFO inventory method. And just to go through our basic example here, just understand that this LIFO that refers to last in, first out, or the last good purchased or made are used first and then we're going to for example here we're going to have some purchases here and they're in ascending order the older purchases here are listed on the top and then the most recent purchases are listed on the bottom and then we're going to have some sales against these purchases here so we won't go through the numbers here we just want to look at our ending inventories and uh, for our purchases here we're going to have ascending or increasing prices here on our purchases and in our, as far as our inventory is concerned we're going to have sold 950 units here and there were a uh, purchased amount here of 1600 units. So there's going to be some ending inventory here. So just looking at our periodic, in this case, our LIFO ending inventory. Well, in this case, you can see here that the most recent purchases here were used first. So we have no inventory sitting here in the recent purchases. But as we go down or uh, as we get older here in our purchases or our older purchases, we're going to have some ending inventory. So in this case, uh, all we want to look at is this ending inventory using our LIFO uh, method here, we end, have an ending inventory of $13,700. Now going up here and just looking at our FIFO again, just to go through that here, that's where you have first in, first out. This is where you have the first goods purchased are made here are used first here. So again, the same example here, the same numbers here. So what we would end up here is uh, with our old, we would use our oldest inventory here first so we would have nothing sitting on our oldest inventory here but as as we get uh, have our more recent purchases here are against our sales here we're going to our most recent purchases here we're going to have some inventory sitting here so in this case our total inventory here for the FIFO method is sixteen thousand three hundred dollars now what we want to go down here is what we want to do is set up this LIFO reserve account here uh, against our FIFO inventory and this is where we can relate between our FIFO and our LIFO uh, inventory so let's first look at what this LIFO how this LIFO reserve works here. So this LIFO reserve is a contra inventory account, which is the difference between the FIFO cost here and the LIFO cost of the inventory here. So in this case, we remember we had that FIFO inventory amount here, the ending inventory of 16,300, and then the LIFO inventory amount was 13,700. So subtracting the 13,000 here, 700 from the 16,300, we come up with $2,600 here. So uh, that was what we'd be putting into this LIFO reserve account here. We'd be crediting it for $2,600. Now remember this LIFO reserve account here is a contra account here to our FIFO inventory account. So uh, it works. So the uh, $2,600 here credit amount here reduces the debit here in our FIFO ending inventory of uh, by $2,600 here. So our FIFO inventory of $16,300 would be reduced here by this $2,600 credit amount here to the LIFO reserve. And then the debit amount here to the LIFO reserve, the debit or the balancing entry here would go to a cost of goods sold here against this LIFO reserve here. So it would increase our cost of goods sold here by $2,600. Now let's just go through here again going back here this life or reserve that's the difference here between the inventory methods used for internal uh, reporting purposes and our LIFO here uh, external reporting purposes in this case and you can see here our LIFO uh, ending inventory was 13,700 versus uh, FIFO here 16,300 and then again that difference here was $2,600. So uh, just to review here this LIFO with increasing cost the LIFO reserve will have a credit balance. So as with increasing costs here the LIFO reserve would have a credit balance with decreasing costs of we uh, on our inventory here for our purchases and inventory of course it would have the opposite effect here it would be reducing this LIFO reserve here. So just again here to re uh, looking at this uh, cost of goods sold here uh, when your LIFO reserve here increases of course that's going to ca cause an increase here in your cost of goods sold which reduces profit here. 
Now, just again here, going through, the, looking at how we can calculate our FIFO inventory here based on this LIFO reserve. So, uh, say our LIFO inventory here plus the LIFO reserve equals the FIFO inventory. So, where our LIFO inventory was 13,700, that was the ending inventory here, and then we'd add our LIFO reserve here of $2,600, that gives us $16,300 here for which equals our FIFO inventory. Now, that makes these inventories comp comparable here. So, somebody can, uh, we can give be given the number here like six sixteen thousand three hundred dollars for a FIFO amount. If we know our LIFO reserve amount here, then we can determine what our LIFO inventory is here. So this LIFO reserve allows a company to change from FIFO internal reporting to LIFO, which gives a better idea of what the inventory is worth. So that reduces our inventory on our balance sheet here. So this LIFO reserve, you can see with the increasing prices here, it reduced the inventory on the balance sheet here from this FIFO inventory of 16,000 here, reduced by the LIFO reserve here of uh, $2,600. Now, one other thing here, uh, what we want to do is just look at, understand here a LIFO factor. We're not going to go through it here, but by definition here, that's the change in the LIFO reserve or the allowance to reduce the inventory here to LIFO from one period to the next. So, what we're essentially just go under. When we talk about reducing inventory here, we have our FIFO inventory amount here that we have, a debit amount here, and to bring it in, bring this FIFO inventory in terms of a LIFO inventory, the re we have we reduce this um, FIFO inventory here by that LIFO reserve of twenty six hundred dollars, and that would be uh, what our uh, LIFO inventory would be worth here based on the uh, difference here between our FIFO of 16300 and our LIFO reserve here of $2,600. All right, so that some, this is just a definition here on how we'd use this LIFO reserve and you can understand any increases in it or decreases in here are going to affect the FIFO inventory that we're recording here on our balance sheet.